will be reviewing the Briar model Camilla, or I believe that's how you say her name. I'm sorry if I say it wrong the whole time. But this is a Briar 2014 regular run release model, and she is on a new scale of model. Normally Briar traditionals are one, uh, one ninth scale, I believe. But this girl is one sixth scale, and she is very big, and I will do a quick size comparison with her with uh, Winter Song. Try my best to show the size comparison, but she is in fact taller than Winter Song. Try and show you the best I can here. But you can see her head towers already over him. Near her back is actually taller than him as well. But the camera's not picking up very well. Now you can kind of see it. Her back is right here, and his back is down there. So she's a really, really big foal. That's why she has been dubbed the name Foalzilla. And she is, uh, this is the most common variation, uh, variant, whatever you want to call it, um, of her. This is the version with the most white, and it's the most common. Uh, four out of six of them are this color, and one out of six are medium white, where it has um, just like a little few paint markings on it, but not as much. And then there's also one out of six that is the like minimal white one that has just white socks and like a white face. But um, I have the most common variation here. I don't have the other two to show you. And I personally like the medium white one. That's my the favorite, I think, is that one for me. But I really like this girl too, and she's cute, and I'll be going over her. Especially her mold, since this is a new mold. And I'll go over coloring and everything else like that too. So this mold. I, I feel like a lot of people either kind of love or hate this mold in a way. I do actually love her. At first I did not want like really plan to get her. But then I found her for cheap and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get her. Because I had been debating before about getting her and so I got her. There are some things that um, this mold bothers me. The main thing is just the tail. I People said before that they had a problem with that. The tail's kind of weird, how it curves. It's just flat. I think if it was fuller and it was a little shorter, or just fuller even, it wouldn't look kind of weird like it does right now. It also just curves a lot. I think if it was um, like flatter, like down here more, it wouldn't look quite as odd. But it does look a little odd. But um, that's only my main problem with this mold and like show you like here's a normal full you see how it's like got a fuller tail the camera's not focusing but there's uh it's got a fuller tail kind of and then her it's completely flat and there's a scale in comparison this is a normal briar traditional full and then this is the new briar full series foals see how big they are so uh, another thing a lot of people didn't like about this mold, but it's actually not, like, a problem with it, though, is this front leg. You can see it kind of bends weird. It's supposed to be like that, and what it is is basically this is a newborn baby that's, like, pretty much standing up for the first time, or maybe this is only the couple times it's stood up, and so it's still kind of figuring out its legs and figuring out how to get its joints to work right and stuff. So even though it looks kind of goofy and odd, it's supposed to be that way. And I personally think it's really cute. And there's kind of a frontal view. Sorry, she's so big it's hard to get a good video of her. But her legs are a little funny. Some people might be kind of annoyed by that. I know when I first kind of looked at her I thought it was kind of odd, but she's really grown on me now. See, she's got a little tight back legs are close together and stuff because she's just kind of figuring her legs out and it's kind of wonky and cute. So yeah, that's my opinion of her. Even though she's wonky, I think she's really, really adorable. And uh, so really besides the tail, I don't have any other problem with it. Like I said, some people don't like how wonky her legs are. I think it's really cute. One thing that is nice is this um, model is, uh, doesn't, uh, has something that most of the Briar traditional regular foals don't have, which is her legs are actually really long like they're supposed to be. And like these, uh, most of the briar other foals, 
their legs just aren't really long enough. I know it's hard to show in a smaller model, but if you do like a size comparison of like the legs to the foal's body, it's a huge difference. Then on the foals, it's like not nearly as much of a difference. So she's a lanky foal like she's supposed to be. It's basically what it is. And like I said, she's really cute. I know she looks kind of weird in some places, but she's supposed to be. She's a little wonky baby foal. So I'll go over some more things on the mold, mostly towards the head and then face. I like her little mane. It's very sparse, which is, I think, super cute. It's not like um, completely full, like um, it's not a full mane, so it shows again that she's just a baby. Um, her tongue is also really, really adorable. You can see the little tonguey, trying to focus more, there we go. Yeah, the little tongue just sticking out. I think it's super duper cute. And she's got cute fuzzy little ears. She's actually got quite a little bit of detail into her. Here's a nice, or it's nice and detailed and fuzzy inside looking. And you can also see some like detail in the model. Kind of see like there's her ribs right there showing just a little bit. She's a skinny little baby foal. She just born. And she's got muscles on her um, shoulder, her chest, which is kind of indented, but I think it's supposed to be like that too. See again, wonky little baby foal. Ribs again on that side, which you kind of to see, but you can kind of see with the gloss there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it on the mold. Like I said, I think she's very cute, very wonky, and adorable little mold. And I wonder if they're going to do more colors on this mold, or if they're going to be releasing um, new molds soon in this series. Either way, I'm probably going to end up collecting these because I think they are very cute. But uh, more onto her, now onto her, her color and her um, paint job and all that. So she is a little done paint. And there's her dorsal stripe. Then she has leg bearings. Uh, you can't really see them on these back legs because of the white markings. But oh, just realized this side doesn't really have that many big leg bearings, just a little bit right there actually. But um, yeah, not. You can't see them too much, mostly because they're white legs. There's a little bit on that leg. Um, you can see she's got paint markings all over four white, uh, four white stockings. And she's got kind of like, not exactly a bald face, just a face with a big blaze. And a pink muzzle. She's super cute. And then one thing I want to say, I really, was really impressed by her um, paint job that I didn't notice until I got her, is... Her eyes, they're actually very pretty detailed. They are not, um, they're not one color, they're not two colors. They're not just black and white, and they're also not even tricolor. They are, um, like four colors in them. Actually five. There's five colors in her eyes. I'm trying to focus on it. There we go. She has, um, these parts, which are actually pink on the outside of the eyes. Like the little eye whites, but they're a little bit pink. And then she has like two little shiny shine marks of white right there on the black pupil. Then she has the brown iris and then an actually a little darker brown outline of the iris. And it looks, I think it looks really good. And then try and show the other eye. There we go. Yeah, I really like that. I'm glad that Briar chose to actually detail their eyes and not just make them black on this mold. Because they could have just made them black like the most of their adult traditional models are but they actually made them pretty detailed and I actually really like it I think it really gives her good character and um, another thing on a paint job is her little hooves are super cute because they're actually striped pretty detailed for Breyer's standards in my opinion yeah pretty nice also, um, her quality is actually really good, too. I know a lot of people have been complaining lately about Breyer's quality control. Some models, I know, they end up flawed and stuff, but her was, she's actually really great. I did not see, like, any overspray on her at all, and I didn't even handpick my model. I just picked her up randomly. But there's, like, no overspray on her that I could find, really, or, like, no major overspray, anyway. There's only been, like, 
three tiny little pinpoint dots that just got stuck under the gloss. Oh yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but she is glossy. She's a glossy baby. Super cute glossy baby. Sure, gloss is really nice and even. Like I said, it's pretty good quality control and everything. The only thing I'd say on her paint job is just that her tongue, I think, might have been cute if it was a bit different color. It's just the same color as your muzzle, so it doesn't, it's a little harder to tell that she has her little tongue sticking out. So that's really my only complaint is I think maybe they should have painted her tongue a little bit different color or something. Just a little bit darker shade or lighter shade or something just to make it stand out a little more. Other than that, I really like her. I know she's kind of weird by the fact that she towers over other briar horses, but um, I think she's super cute. She's a good uh, model to show, I think. She's a good model to just kind of do whatever with. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to do a lot with her because she is a completely different scale than all of Briar's other models. But I really like her. I'm really glad I got her. She's super cute, and I may even want to try and find the medium white variation of her as well. So, that's her. If you have any other suggestions for Briar model reviews, Comment down below.